Good evening, everyone. This is Linda. In today's video, I would like to share with you all some seeds I'm dropping here. Yeah. Now, in a video a while back, I explained to you all that I will not drop some seeds like okra. No, I'm not dropping okra. Mm -mm. <laughs> but what I am dropping here today is some spaghetti squash. Yeah, I'm going to drop some spaghetti squash here today. Now, some of these packs are old uh, because I did not purchase new spaghetti squash. Um, I didn't find it's necessary. I think these spaghetti squash will do well. And I'm going to drop some butternut squash seeds here today. Yeah. So some of the packs I purchased in 2017, 2018, um, some of them is even earlier, but they are going to expire. But I'm going to drop some Kershaw melon. Yeah. And since I'm dropping some melons, well, why not drop some cantaloupe, right? So that's what I'm going to drop here today in this area. Yeah. It's going to be wonderful. So let's get started. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. All right, guys. So now I am planting my spaghetti squash. So if you didn't know that these are my Katrina bricks, um, well, you know, they're cinder blocks, okay? Um, many of you all have heard the story. Yeah, you all have heard the story of how I acquired these bricks. And since I've had them since, what, 2006, 2007, I've been putting them to work ever since. Yeah, but there was uh, a couple years ago, I... I grew this uh, squash called um, a Wonder Spaghetti Squash. I can't think of the other name of it, but uh, it's uh, I know in the title it's, a, it's called a Wonder Spaghetti Squash. And it is a spaghetti squash that was meant for just one person. It was small. And yeah, it was very, very delicious. I'm gonna put the name of it somewhere and a picture so you can see that spaghetti squash that I grew. It was delicious and it was prolific. There were so many of them. I shared a lot of those beautiful, beautiful uh, spaghetti squash with many of my family and friends. But as I said, I was not going to grow any spaghetti squash or uh, squash at all. Uh, last season, uh, many of you all know, we went through a battle with spaghetti squash and squash in general. But that's okay. I'm ready for it. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Yeah. Now, these spaghetti squash I purchased from one of the big box stores like Walmart or Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, one of those stores. You can find these spaghetti squash. Yeah. But um, last uh, spring, I had uh, buttons growing here. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of buttons grew from these Katrina bricks. Also, I've grown tomatoes from these Katrina bricks before. And they do well. They do very well. So if you have some cinder blocks somewhere around in your yard, mm -hmm. you have some planting pots. <laughs> you have some planting pots. All right, guys. So I am just enjoying this day, I tell you. I'm enjoying this day. And these are my Crenshaw um, melons here. Uh, now, 
The other seed that I didn't bring out that I did drop was a couple of, I did like two seeds of honeydew melons. So I did have some honeydew melon seeds. So yeah, I dropped those honeydew melon seeds. Yeah, and they were, um, uh, I'm looking at the date uh, when they expired, but I wanted to know, have you ever had any, um, uh, seeds that was expired uh, that you did go ahead on and drop and was it successful for you or did it not uh, not grow so let me know in the comments uh, you know what have you done what have you done but we gonna drop these seeds yo and seriously I think they're gonna do well now, I know uh, those gloves that I have on, at least one of the fingers, I think it's the ring finger, it's kind of toe up, but that's okay, y'all. <laughs> it worked out real good. <laughs> it did good, good. Yeah. So here they are. They are all planted up now. And so now I'm just going to water everybody in and... Um, I'm just happy because, you know, the most important thing you want to do is just drop the seed, y'all. Drop the seed. Yeah. Get the seed dropped. Uh, and, of course, I'm going to put a couple of, <clears throat> I'm sorry, some marigolds. Um, maybe one or two marigolds in each bed. Yeah, we're just going to drop a couple seeds with them and uh, let them all grow up together mm -hmm. now guys here is my white potatoes look at that oh man i am so impressed with these white potatoes i love them uh, i cannot wait until all of this beautiful green here turns all brown and crusty <laughs> it's something how you have to wait until many vegetables turn brown and crusty before they are all ready. Yep, but that's what happens when they are all brown and crusty. The potatoes are ready. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> they are beautiful. They are beautiful in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, guys, I'm over here by my corn, and this is mm -hmm, reindeer poop sunflowers. Yes. So this is my last one that I have from my friends, CB's Greenhouse and Garden. Well, that's the last one I have in this form. Yeah. <laughs> but I have seeds now. But um, I am going to plant them in the corner where I first planted a lot of my corn. So I'm sorry about my shadow, but yeah, we're going to get to a point where I'm going to make sure my shadow is out of the shot. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to make a little trench here. I did break... Um, the reindeer poop in half and uh, so I'm gonna plant one half of it here and another part I'm gonna plant just on the other side of where it is yeah and planting sunflowers you know I don't plant them in um, pots or and then bring them outside I mean guys it's just my way and everybody have their own way and uh, there's no right or wrong way to plant them it's just I prefer direct sowing most of my vegetables and flowers yeah now a couple videos back I told you guys about a plant I wanted called celeriac and thank you to my beautiful supporter who kind of spelled out that word so I can pronounce it 
the correct way. Thank you, honey. It is called Celeriac. So about two years ago, a beautiful friend here on YouTube, her name is Paula. And Paula had a channel called Garden City Food Forest. She sent me a load of seeds. And one of them was celeriac. I grew celeriac. And this is what celeriac looks like right here. I grew that vegetable. I cleaned and cooked and ate that vegetable. And that vegetable is good. But look, guys, I still have more seeds. Yay! <laughs> uh, what happened was I didn't plant all those seeds. <clears throat> they are so small. So yeah, guys, y'all know I dropped those seeds. Yeah. Now it comes to me that uh, a supporter here asked me when she opened a pack of seeds, do she have to use all her seeds once she opened a pack? Well, that's your answer. No, you do not. Just take them, fold them up, put them in an the envelope or whatever, and save them for whenever you're ready to plant them again. Maybe you want to plant a second planting or just for sharing. But no, you do not have to use all your seeds in the pack once you open it. Yeah, so uh, I think I planted the, the seeds are so small, so probably I put about 20 seeds in there, and I still have more celeriac in that pack. So I'm excited, and um, I'm just happy to, uh, to drop those seeds today. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Now, celeriac takes a long time to, to grow uh, from seed to harvest. Um, if you would like that information, just let me know in the comments and I will get that to you. Yeah, but I am um, excited for, for growing this vegetable. It was delicious, y'all. It is in the um, celery family. Yeah, it's in the family with the celery. So, yeah, the celeriac is planted. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Just when you think you don't have something, you have it. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm just going around this tree. I have a, this is the tree that I planted here on my property. And this is just some saved um, seeds that I had. These are just some sunflower seeds that I saved from last season. And I'm going to just plant them all around um, the tree here uh, in the yard. I have a, um, I have a, a, a mint plant here also right there. Now, I have neglected this mint. I have not used it. I have not watered it. Nothing. And because of that, my neglect, you can see the difference between that mint and the mint that I do use a lot in making teas and uh, sometimes even having it in my meals. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to clean this little bed with this mint and um, I'm going to do better, y'all. I'm going to do better. Yeah, there's another Katrina brick back there and I'm going to put some four clocks and some buttons and all types of flowers in that. Now, this is the wild part of the garden. So, yeah, I was just hoping nothing jump out on me. <laughs> yeah. This is just a little, yeah, I had this back here. It's just a little heart that says, grow. Yay. <laughs> it made me think of my uh, beautiful family, the Grow Family Network. But he says, grow, grow, grow. <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm going to do better with this mint and 
I'm going to use it and I'll rotate using it with uh, the other mint that I have on the other side of the garden so it could uh, start to get better yeah I do have a, a bag in there that I grew flowers into it's just a tote that I used and I'm gonna put flowers in that too and this is in the front of the house guys and this is my Easter lilies these are my Easter lilies yeah look at them now these plants came with the house y'all mm -hmm. they came with the house and they are looking great they're about to put on their flowers look at that yeah I love them though y'all I really do so here is uh, my overwinter pepper and we have peppers it's a serena pepper we had peppers on it beautiful now I topped her real good y'all oh yeah I topped her good and she is doing wonderful she had flowers and she had peppers this is a banana pepper over winter this is her second pepper she's given me and she's doing good yeah and I have another pepper there. And as you can see, she's giving me a pepper. It's so wonderful. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me here today. I've enjoyed myself. I enjoyed dropping seeds. And for you, drop those seeds. You no, know, we can't get a fruit or a vegetable unless you drop your seeds, okay? Yeah, look at there. And she have another flower about to start. She's doing great. Mm. Yeah, but it's a, a, it's a wonderful day. So you all stay safe, stay home. Later, y'all.